Welcome back everybody. We are going to go over the top sales from February 21st all the way through March 25th. And we're just gonna jump right on into it. We're gonna waste any time. All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, so pick this up in Texas. I will have the link to that video um, below. You guys will remember that I hit a bunch of garage sales while I was vis visiting out there. And this is a vintage Erie World plush. It was the little green alien. Picked it up for $3 and it sold for $42. That was a great pick. All right, next we have this Nick Fury hat. This Nick Fury hat picked it up for $3. It sold for $18 almost immediately. Then we have this 1987 Transformer toy, picked it up for $45 and it sold for $145. That was an offer that we accepted. Then we have these Big Star jeans, picked those up at the local Goodwill for about $10. They were new with tag. They sold almost immediately for $50. That was an offer that we accepted. Now we have this uh, ceramic chicken and it was a miniature so it's itty bitty really tiny picked it up for about 10 cents and it sold for um, ten dollars and 95 cents some of those little miniatures that are vintage they sell really quickly and they sell for pretty good money if you can get them for you know pennies on the dollar you're really good okay then we have this jc pennies nativity set picked this up for about 7.99 and it sold for 35 dollars then we have this Macintosh Danoon cup. I picked it up at my local Goodwill for about 69 cents, still had the tags on it, and it sold for $22. Then we have this vintage ashtray. Picked up this vintage ashtray. I've been on a roll with the vintage ashtrays if y'all have been following along. Picked this one up for $3 and it sold almost immediately for $30. Then we have this, uh, these, I think they're called Reebok Allen Iversons. Picked these up at a yard sale. Uh, picked them up for $3 and they sold for $40. Now, these I've had for a little bit longer than what I normally like to have them on, but just keep them in your store and they'll sell. Then we have this uh, Frida t-shirt. Picked this one up for about $3 and it sold for $25. Uh, throughout the year, I'll go through my store on eBay and I'll fluctuate my prices. This one I had for uh, $14 for about six months. It didn't sell. I jacked up the price to $25 and it sold almost immediately. I can't understand the logic in that, but it works. And I do it quite often and, um, and stuff sells. <laughs> so it's working for me. So you might want to try it out for yourself. Okay. Then we have this uh, Manhattan Toy Company elephant. Picked up this little elephant just because I thought he was soft and cute. Uh, picked him up for about a dollar and he sold for $25.95. Now, Reese Witherspoon uh, perfume. Picked this perfume up for, again, for about a dollar, and it sold for $25.95. Old vintage perfume sells really well, and you can get quite a bit of money for them if you get them for a really good price, so keep your eyes open. Then we have this uh, Star Guide book. It was a vintage book. Picked it up for about 33 cents, and it sold for $19.99. Then we have this Hug Fun Caterpillar. This caterpillar was about that big. I uh, picked this particular uh, caterpillar up for about $3 and it sold for $25.95. Now we have a vintage lot of five uh, kids record books. Anyway, pick this up at a estate sale. And of course, estate sales, you can get books for near nothing. Picked all of these books up for $1 and this lot sold for $20. That was an offer that I accepted. Now, then we have the Jetsons. You guys remember um, that I've been talking about a particular <laughs> free by the side of the road where they had all these comic books and artwork and all kinds of stuff and I picked it all up. Well, this is from that lot. Okay, so um, in nothing didn't pay anything for this. And this two comic book sets sold for $75.95. That was full asking price. Now we have these, uh, I think they're called manifesto shoes. Picked those up for about $8. They sold really fast for $35. That was again an offer that we accepted. Then we have this um, conch shell. Shells do really well. I don't know particularly why, but people like shells. So if you see shells, grab them. Pick this one up for $4 and it sold almost immediately for $30. 
Then we have this plush, um, and this one was a Supernatural uh, from the TV show Supernatural, so it was like a Dean uh, Winchester, I think is his name, Dean Winchester with the little wings when he was like Celestial or something like that. Anyway, picked this one up for $3 and it sold for $61. That was an offer that we accepted. Then we have this um, Furby Boom got this Furby Boom at a yard sale, paid $1 for it, and turned around and sold it for 20 bucks. Now, because a Furby is an electronic toy, sometimes you can kind of mess with them a little bit on the bottom and get them working. This particular one was not working when we brought it home, but by the time we listed it, we had gotten it working. So, keep that in mind too. You always want to kind of mess with your trinkets. You'll have your own little tools and everything available to yourself whenever you sit down to start cleaning them up and listing them. Make sure that you have the batteries and everything ready to go so that you can test out your items. All right, now we have this Oleander's wand. Pick this one up for $8 and it sold really quick for $35. This Harley Davidson belt buckle. Pick this up for $3 and it sold for $23. Then we have this Oakley hat. Pick this Oakley hat up for $3. It sold for $21.24. Then we have this, uh, I think they're called Tweedle Bugs from Sesame Street. This was a vintage plush. Picked it up for $3 and it sold for $32. Now we have this Nerf gun. It's a Vulcan Nerf gun. Nerf guns do really well as long as you can pick them up cheap enough. Pick this one up at a yard sale for $1 and it sold for $24. Alright, so that is it for our like our top sales from that time. And I wanted to kind of go through the rundown with you all. So I am a uh, let me see, $122.98 in, sold them for $923.15. That is not a bad turnaround for these particular items. And during this time, I actually got to go on vacation. So it was wonderful, I enjoyed it. And doing this has just been so much fun. I'm so glad that you guys were able to join me for my quick little video today. And I hope that you will come back if you enjoy just kind of learning and chilling and and uh, going on an adventure of learning how to do the whole eBay and thrifting and also how to um, decorate your booths, get more bang for your buck. I sure hope that you would like, comment, and follow. And uh, for more, I want you to subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.